I'd been looking for information about Rodriguez for a long time. I'd even set up a web page called The Great Rodriguez Hunt in the hope that someone out there in cyberspace would post a message on the forum giving us any information about Rodriguez. But there was nothing. something in his voice that is so intimate, it's emotional. If you hear someone like, crucify your mind, for example, you know, almost get tears in your eyes. And you assume you got something to offer. It's so rare that you have those kind of magic songs. Oh, can we get a little bit closer like one? Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, good. I'm more audio, and he's visual in the sense of he's been in television. Yeah, he was a child actor. I was 10. <laughs> so I wouldn't say I was a child actor. <laughs> just do what you do. Just say what I say. Just repeat me. The parrot thing. You got it though. So yeah. These are the two that are going to count. Yeah. The story climaxes in 1998. I meet Malik Benjalou in 08. They came to Detroit, to him and his film crew, in February. And so I got involved in it. But I was skeptical at, at the beginning, for sure. Malik Benjalou wants to see what I was doing between the years of 74 in 96, 98. Well, I was just, uh, it's an ordinary life. I heard he did a, like a little construction work. It was really doing the work that no one else wanted to do. Rich in a lot of things, but perhaps not material things. I said, in South Africa, you are more popular than Elvis Presley. Next day, he says, uh, Emerson, I got to go on tour. I said, why is that, Rodriguez? I wonder how many times you've been had and I the first time when it, you know, it was screened in Sundance and it was like six standing ovations in a row and that's what the first time we really understood this this works. People and he like was there it. too, right? And he was that was the reason for the six standing yeah. ovations, I guess. Wow. <laughs> well I asked a famous guy in Alec Baldwin, I says, You're you're a famous man and he says that's a double edged sword. Could you ever have imagined that it would have this sort of an impact on so many people? No, sir. I could definitely not have imagined that. It's insane. I mean, it's insane. It was supposed to be a seven-minute piece for Swedish TV. Everything that happened after that, I considered a bonus. And this is the most crazy thing ever. You're in a pinch my arm. Wonder 